It's a game, really, we don't have to sell for you. It's got such a fascinating history. You know the interest. We could have sold the stadium out, what, five, six times over, I reckon, because of the history of the rivalry here. Hopefully it lives up to the billing. Hi there, everybody. Delighted to have you along for the ride for this game. Alan Smith has joined me in the commentary position. Alan, you might have memories of the uh, Sheffield United-Sheffield Wednesday rivalry because they were playing in 93 for a place in the cup final against Arsenal. It was Sheffield Wednesday who got through, and uh, a lot of these supporters here today will remember that. Well, they will. We beat them uh, in the League Cup and FA Cup final in 93. Sick of the sight of them we were, but... Uh, this is a, a proper old derby, this one. Number 23, Sam Hutchinson. Number 45, Fernando. Let's look Christian. at Sheffield Wednesday and the Number list of their players here. Stephen looking at the lineup, he's got all the components in place, hasn't he? The manager for the pressing style of play has been a feature of his team. Yep, and uh, many an opponent has found it difficult to cope with. If your touch isn't spot on against this aggressive type of closing down, you're going to lose it in dangerous areas. Good game. Good game. Hey, good game. Thanks. Good game. Cheers. Good luck. And this is how the visitors will line up for this match. To be honest with you, we're not absolutely sure how the opposition are going to react to that kind of formation. We put it up like for like, Alan. It, it could be a variation, but... Their wing-backs, too, could easily defend. But it'd be nice to think they might push on and they'll be more attacking, possibly, than the opposition. Yeah, I mean, it might be that uh, this manager has changed his mind once he saw the opposition's team sheet. He's asking players to do something that they didn't think they were going to be doing. And they turned up at the ground. Sheffield Wednesday, they're in fine fettle and looking for another win after that home success against Blackburn Rovers. Yeah, nice and tight at the back in the 1-0 win. Clean sheets are great, and uh, the strikers can score. I think they will win today again. Here's the kickoff, and the game is underway. And it's Fletcher moving the opposition around with their play. These two players. He's got it away, and that's what you have to do. Now that's a throw. What we've got here is a chance for the home team to do the double over their opponents today, Alan. Yeah, they made a statement, Martin, didn't they, with that earlier win on away territory, and it was a really good performance. Leonard. Well, Alan, it's your boyhood club, of course, Aston Villa. Having been relegated, that would be painful enough for you and all the Villa fans. And now here they are struggling uh, lower down as well. Not a good look, that league table for Aston Villa. Well, is this a blip or is it something more far-reaching? Because we all thought they were going to... Must take the lead here! Corner, Sheffield United. Support play from his teammates. Michael Hector. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Will that be a throw? Now Billy Sharp is a target at the front post. A dangerous piece of defending, really. Well, we've got a free kick here. The referee points for it.
Gary Hooper. And find some space here on the flanks. Now, this is an interesting attack. Building steadily here, keeping possession. No nonsense defending from him. Fox. Now they've got the ball back. What can they do from here? Well, maybe the counter-attack is on here. Duffy. Baker. Leonard. Washington. Tackle here. Free is given the free kick. So the free kick's taken here very quickly indeed. It's looking good this move. He's had a go here. The goalkeeper with a textbook save and keeps the ball in his grasp. Michael Hector. Thank you. Gary Hooper. Stephen Fletcher. But the space to go forward into with the ball. Here's the chance. What a chance to open the scoring. It's been fairly tight. That was by far the best chance so far. The manager just trying to get his message across down there. They weren't far off taking the lead there. They're playing pretty well. Gary Hooper, and it's Fletcher, that's a good tackle. So we'll restart with a throw-in. Barry Banner. Can he deal with it here? John the Fleck, now Billy Sharp. That's a silly tackle, really. It's definitely a yellow in the mind of the referee, definitely. Well, I think it unquestionably was. I mean, on another day, he might have got a red for that. It was a really dangerous challenge. Leonard. The penalty to tell you all about Ala McAnally will do the honours from the Britannia Stadium. It's a penalty for Stoke City. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Up he steps. Oh, clipped straight down the middle. No chance for the goalkeeper. 37 minutes played. 2-1. Thank you very much, Alan. Now Billy Sharp. They can be quick on the break now. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. In quickly. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Whipped in from the wide area. The corner for Sheffield Wednesday. Listen to that roar. They see this is a great chance to go ahead. Really a very good player, in very good touch, and his manager has been pointing that out to us. Yeah, I mean, he won't need any words of advice. The way he's playing, it's all coming so easily, so naturally. And here comes the corner. Well, oh, that's good defending. <laughs> the corner's gone up to indicate three added minutes. John Clegg. Plenty of width for the team to attack into. Come away with the ball cleaning. Great tackle. Gary Hooper. Well, we're halfway through, and we haven't yet got a goal to bring to you. Nil-nil at half-time.
I have to say, Alan, you were spot on at the start when you said this would be a really tight game and the first half, nothing between them. No, you just cannot separate them at the moment. And it does have the look of a game that's going to be decided by just one goal. So the referee's happy, the players are in position, the second half gets underway. On to the attack now. Well, the goalkeeper's got it, but only just. John Fleck. Leonard. Sharp. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. Just take a note of this, EA Sports coverage of the EFL Championship fixture. Sheffield Wednesday, they will be facing Stoke City away from home. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this one, looking forward to it. Duffy. Washington. We can hear what's happening up at the Hull City KC Stadium with Alan McAnally. It's the second goal. Slipping it through. He's refused to be beaten here. Well, standing ovation for the fans, and why not? What a stop. It's come off the goalkeeper, still in play. Apologies for coming off for Alan McAnally. Uh, what he was trying to tell us was that Hull City did score in that game. Guided through. Out in front of goal. He's got it away. indicating he wants to make a substitution now. Play on, says the referee. And the referee's given the free kick. The talking to from the referee, the card stayed in the pocket. Yeah, you don't always see that so often. The referee will produce a yellow early on and quite often leads to a red. Well, this is where substitutes are important. Who and when. A long way out here, Martin. I can't believe he's going to actually try and shoot. Has a go here. Went for goal from optimistic distance and nearly found it. Yeah, it's a good effort. I think the keeper would have had it, though. Oh, just too high, and uh, it was coming down, too. Yeah, he's got some dip on it, but it just didn't come soon enough. Here's Hector. We've had an hour gone here, and still 30 minutes left. Can really get at the opposition here. And here's the shot. Well marked, but not so well marked to stop the shot going in, but maybe had an effect on him. Yeah, I think they did. Two or three defenders close to getting in the block. Could be dangerous. Looking to win it back. Well, that's straightforward for the goalkeeper. Barry Bannon. Well, they gave it straight to him, didn't they? Washington. Opportunity in a wider area. Well, then it goes. Well, the cross looked good, but it didn't turn out that way. 
Good position for the cross. He's kept it out. A fine header, better save. Yeah, he couldn't have connected any better with the header, but uh, really good agility from that keeper. Home team ready to make a change. Duffy. Gary Hooper. Well, that's not so much an interception as a poor pass. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. This is how they love to play on the break. Defended well. The shot's up. It was a chance maybe to hit the target. He certainly went for strength. Nothing wrong with a connection either. Well, both sides are going to make changes now. And number 10, Barry Bannon. Coming onto the pitch, number 20, Adam Reach. And number 5, Kieran Reid. Substitution for Sheffield United. Coming off the pitch, number 39, Connor Washington. To be replaced now, O'Connell. Number 17, David McGoldrick. McGoldrick. Now Billy Sharp. Sharp. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. Well picked off by the defender there for what could have been a potentially match-winning pass in these circumstances. for it guided through it's a wasted opportunity but it's a brilliant interception at a vital time they can't keep it on the pitch it's gone out for a throw just a change now he's bringing on a new player to be replaced by number 18, Lucas Jarrell. Kieran Lee. Shredding it through. High class goalkeeping. And late in the game, he's kept his team in it. It's still level. Well, the best keepers make great saves at vital times. And well, that was all of those things there. by the fourth official, that's the decision regarding added time. Baker, here's Lee. A timely challenge. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Room now out on the wing. A good cross that's a shame because in the end that will go down as a poor cross really and they get it away They're rushing across to take the corner not much time left looking for a winner and now he's going to sort out that earlier incident and put the player who committed the foul yeah he doesn't miss much this ref he's, he's eagle-eyed and uh, he wanted to give the team a chance to move forward but always oh, going to produce the yellow for that Put the corner in the middle. He worked so hard on his head. Well, that is the final whistle, and it's finished all square. 
Well, they're close by the geography of the two clubs and very close out on the pitch today. Well, you could see the intensity of the play from both sets of players and both managers. Nobody wanted to come out of here a loser. Here's the kickoff, and the game is underway. Well, is this a blip or is it something more far reaching? Because we must take the lead here. Corner, Sheffield United. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. Here's the chance. What a chance to open the scoring. It's been fairly tight. That was by far the best chance so far. That's a silly tackle, really. It's definitely a yellow in the mind of the referee, definitely. Well, he's a long way out here, Martin. I can't believe he's going to actually try and shoot. Has a go here. Went for goal from optimistic distance and nearly found it. Yeah, it's a good effort. I think the keeper would have had it, though. Can really get at the opposition here. And here's the shot. Well marked, but not so well marked to stop the shot going in, but maybe had an effect on him. Yeah, I think they did. Two or three defenders close to getting in a block. Class goalkeeping and late in the game he's kept his team in it it's still level well the best keepers make great saves at vital time